What up peeps, welcome to today's vlog. We are at the outlet once again. It is Tuesday, store is closed today. And the most exciting thing that I have to film is to come to Goodwill. So hopefully we can find some cool stuff. I'm sure we will. Um, probably not as good as yesterday. Yesterday was pretty awesome, but hopefully there's at least something for us. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of filming today as well, since I haven't done it the last few times I've been here. I don't think it's very exciting, but you guys seem to want it every now and then, so we'll do a little bit. Alright guys, so I was here a little bit longer than I expected to be. I was actually planning on hitting up a few other Goodwills and I still will hit a couple. Uh, but they were just like doing rotation after rotation. I decided to stay. Today was better than yesterday. I didn't spend as much, but it was better stuff. So I'm very excited to show you guys. I only filmed a couple clips when I first got there um, and then just didn't film anymore. Sorry about the wind, if you can, if it's coming up on camera. It's, um, it's a little difficult to dig with only one hand while I'm trying to film and sometimes you have to kind of be quick and you have to be moving through bins you know in a timely manner so filming slows me down <laughs> but we have a final fantasy nintendo power strategy guide 29 cents or 39 cents whatever it is we got snoop dog snoop dog's greatest hits goes for about 15 to 20 bucks we got walking dead complete seventh season on dvd it's about 15 to 20. I got a bunch of movies today, most of which we are just going to be selling at the store for like five bucks a piece. A couple of them might be a little bit more, but I think the average is five bucks. We have Toy Story 2 DVD, Pinocchio 70th Anniversary DVD, How to Train Your Dragon Blu-ray, Tangled Blu-ray, Kung Fu Panda Blu-ray, Snow White DVD. We have a sealed Star Wars Force Awakens, which I'm pretty sure was a little bit more. 101 Dalmatians DVD, Modern Family third season sealed, He-Man sealed. I got the double pack box for the Grand Theft Auto for Xbox. I got a 20 foot sink snake because if we're gonna be buying a house, we might need it. I got a Bumble from uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. This is from the year 2000. He's worth about 20 bucks or so. I got a giant Luigi plush. 
I got this little metal lockbox to replace the plastic one I bought at Goodwill. Uh, this is to like put our keys in and stuff at the store. I got one more big plush, but he needs a, some repair, unfortunately, but it's worth it because it's a giant vintage, vintage um, 90s uh, Charmander. He's got a rip in the tail. He's got a rip down here. And then in his leg right here, he's ripped. And his eyes are of course all scratched up, but I could just like repaint those if I really wanted to. And he needs to go through the wash and everything. But overall, that is super awesome. I didn't look this one up. I didn't really need to, but if I had to guess in like really nice condition, I would say he's worth like 40, 50 bucks. You guys saw me pull out this, which had Lego the movie, the video game for 3DS. I got a bath bomb for Abby. We have Little Nemo and the Riddler, both on VH VHS, sorry. Got a couple empty cases here. One of the cases to go in that double pack. There was no disc, but it has the manual. And we also got Need for Speed Shift, just an empty case. We also got an empty case for Just Dance 4 and then an extra manual for Over the Hedge for PS2. We got Dio, Last in Line on cassette. Uh, sealed Leapster game, I just bundled these up on eBay. Sealed VHS couple sealed blank cassette tapes. We have a Minecraft Creeper, Guitar Hero strap, and the cover for the Wii guitar. Little just like $3 plushie. Uh, I got this really awesome Blaziken figure, which is from 2007, Jax. Looks like he might talk or something. He's got a speaker on him, but that was super cool. Got this big Power Ranger guy, Guardians of the Galaxy, some dollar toys and stuff. Uh, Chewy and a hyena. This Power Rangers gun thing from like 2000, what was it? 2003, but well, it was working earlier. <laughs> it was making some noise. Um, just a bunch of other dollar toys. You guys saw me grab this, which I'm giving this to Ryan. I almost wasn't going to get it because he's missing a leg, but Ryan still wants it, so I grabbed it for him. Got a little Yoshi Hot Wheel couple 80s Cabbage Patch figures. This one I want you guys help with. This looks extremely familiar to me, but I'm not sure what it is. There's no markings on it, but it's like a little bat guy. Oh, there is a marking. I didn't see that before. It says something imp, but there's no date or anything. So if you know what that is, please let me know. Got a couple more Leapster games. I just bundle those up like I said couple dollar toys, Ben 10 and uh, Wreck-It Ralph. Got a little uh, Lego minifig. I spent a total of $89.81. That's not everything so far. I also got this. Not even sure what it is. It's some little toy, but it was sealed. It goes for about 15 to 20 bucks on eBay. I got a, if I could open it, a TI-84 Plus Silver Edition calculator. It does have a little spot on the screen there. Um, so, you know, hopefully it still works and everything, but if it does, then this is probably 40, 50 bucks on eBay. I got a Simon game, which was a 1978 version. The only reason I got it is just to get it for the store. It's not worth too much, but electronics are only 69 cents per pound. So that thing cost me like a dollar or two. <laughs> And I can't get it in here. But yeah, for like a couple bucks, if we even if we sell it for 10, you know, we're making five times our money. Got a couple mice. We have a Logitech trackball mouse. I didn't look this up, didn't really need to. It's definitely worth grabbing. That's a good eBay or Amazon item. And then I got this Logitech G500 mouse. It's missing the little uh, weight cartridge that goes in there. And it's pretty worn, as you can see. So this is definitely an eBay one, not an Amazon one. But even on eBay, it's like 20, 30 bucks little Farberware skillet temperature control. These average about 20 bucks for the Farberware brand. Uh, the other ones, all the other brands are usually pretty cheap, but the Farberware ones are the ones that go for a bit more. Got a couple remotes here. They're about 15 bucks a piece. Same with this DeWalt battery charger. It's about 15 on eBay. And then got just a bunch of cables, HDMI, power cables, whatever, a couple USB extenders. And then Lastly, saving the best for last, we have Puss in Boots on Blu-ray, the Avengers Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray DVD, like big combo thing. Brave on Blu-ray, it's missing the DVD, but I'm just gonna list it in, in our system as just Blu-ray. And then here's the really good stuff, guys. So I had to buy these from 
from someone else in the store because um, I saw him grab them out of a bin, but they have the rule here still where it's one person per bin at a time. So you pretty much have to wait for the person to be done before you can start digging. It's like their new COVID rules. So I saw a guy pull these out. He was like, like an older um, Mexican guy. And I didn't recognize him, so it's not anyone that I knew, but after he was done, I was the next person in line for that bin. So I dug through the bin, didn't find any games. And then I approached him after and I was like, hey, are you gonna sell those games? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, do you want to sell them to me? And so I checked them out. I made him an offer. He accepted. I ended up paying $60 for these. And this is just for him to give them to me in the store. I still had to buy them from Goodwill. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So for $60 bucks plus the $2.29 per, per game that I, that I paid to Goodwill, we have a complete beautiful Katamari for the 360 Whoop, disc is popping out. We also have... Super Mario Sunshine, no manual. And the cover art was folded right here and right there. Then we have Super Smash Bros. Melee. That is complete. Manual is in the back here. And then we have Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, which has no manual, but it does have the other paperwork. So they all need to be resurfaced, obviously, but they should be good to go. That is extremely awesome. So after paying the, you know, two bucks a piece or whatever, I ended up paying about $70 for all of these. We sell this for 70 by itself. We sell this for 65. And this one I think is like 80, 90 right now. And the beautiful Katamari, I'm not sure off the top of my head. We haven't had one in a while, but my guess is at least 15 to 20. So yeah. That was super awesome. I'm very, very happy that I decided to come here today and actually stay because I did not find that stuff right away. Like all the movies and the Blu-rays and the games, I found that stuff after I'd already been here for like an hour or two. So very happy I came. Let's hit up a couple other Goodwills on the way home. Abby and I are getting some Hawaiian food tonight and I promise I will show it to you this time. By the way, I should mention that I think that little yellow imp is a piece of a board game. I'm pretty sure it is because it looks extremely familiar. Um, but I need to know like which board game I'm going to try to look it up when I, you know, whenever I get around to it and I'm sure I could find it with, you know, yellow rubber imp or something like that on Google. But obviously before I get to that, you guys will see this video. So hopefully someone can let me know. But if it is from a board game, I'm assuming it's like, you know, like one of those like fantasy board games, which usually are pretty expensive and the pieces from them can be expensive sometimes as well. If you lose one piece, you got to replace it. You know what I mean? You go on eBay and sometimes the pieces are 10, 15, 20 bucks just for one single little piece. So you never know, could be worth something. And I guess uh, I'll figure it out soon one way or the other. This is the good one. We got those really awesome PS3 games that last time we were here. Hopefully we can score again. doing pretty good today did okay in there usually if I go around to Goodwills I will at least leave a couple of them completely with nothing just empty-handed but I mean it's only a second stop of today and obviously I never leave empty-handed at the outlet but it's still going pretty dang good so I didn't film everything but you did see me grab the two steel books so Call of Duty Black Ops and Halo Wars I looked them up on eBay, just the steel books alone without the games are like 15 bucks a piece. So for $4 each, that's obviously a no brainer. And they do both have the games. There's Halo Wars, there's Black Ops. So $4 a piece, nothing to complain about there. And then the only other thing I got are movies. So 
most of the rest of the store was a bust, but I did get three Blu-ray for the store. These are, I think the average on these three is like 10 bucks. Um, I think one of them is a little bit less, but we're probably gonna be pricing these at $9.99 a piece. I paid $5 a piece, so doubling our money once they sell. We have the Lego Movie 2, the second part. We have John Carter, and we have a double pack, which is Dumb and Dumber and The Mask. So like I said, they're going for about 10 bucks a piece and uh, yeah, not too shabby. So we have tons of DVDs at the store, but we don't have a lot of Blu-ray. So I'm kind of looking out for that stuff uh, to kind of, you know, bulk up that section. So I'm going to continue on. Abby's getting another tattoo today. <laughs> she had an appointment. Um, she got one a couple weeks ago. We didn't show you guys, it's, just, it's on her leg. Um, maybe we'll take a look at that later. But she's got another one. I don't even know what she's getting. But um, once she is done, she's going to order some Hawaiian food for both of us. And then I will go pick it up on my way home. And then we'll probably just like watch some Walking Dead. Look at this line from my mask. Ugh, I hate it. If I do that, it looks a little better. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. And uh, I thought Abby was gonna play the village today, but I guess not. Maybe she'll do it tomorrow. I don't know. But on to the next Goodwill. Here is our next stop. We might have one more after this, I'm not sure. So we just left that place, found some more stuff. We got Seinfeld Seen It, which is sealed. It was $6.99 and it's about 19 bucks after fees and shipping on Amazon. So that's like, I don't know, it's like 30 bucks before or something. Their fees are so high. Uh, I spent a total here of $29.24. We also got an Xbox One Connect. Um, last I knew we were selling these at the store for like 30, but then one person bought all of them. So the price has probably gone up. We have a Denon remote. It was $2, goes for about 12, not too much. And then we have a CD here, uh, the Robert Gray band live from across the pond. It's brand new. It was four bucks and it is a pretty low rank in music on Amazon, which means it sells pretty quickly. And I can't remember the price on it, but it, it was worth grabbing. It was at least 10. It was more than that because it wasn't 10. I wouldn't have grabbed it. Um, and then the last thing we have, The Walking Dead Complete Fifth Season on Blu-ray Factory Sealed. It was $7.99 and it goes for about 15 to 20. So pretty cool stuff. Abby ordered our food, which is pretty close to this Goodwill. So I'm going to head there now. Um, I think that this is going to be our, that was our last stop for the day. So I'm going to go grab the food and then we'll head back home. So I just got an email saying that uh, someone used our referral code to purchase one of those uh, special modded controllers that uh, from Hex Gaming, who sponsored yesterday's vlog. And I just wanted to talk about that stuff a little bit because it's very, very interesting to me. Um, back, I don't even know how many years, like maybe like 2010 to 2012, when YouTubers had like sponsored videos or sponsored segments or anything like that. People that watched the videos hated it. Like it was such a big deal. Like everyone hated it. And now, and I, and I don't really understand why, like, you know, people want to make some money. That's fine. Um, but now it's just the complete opposite. Like, you know, we have had two sponsored vlogs now and every time it happens, there's not a single negative comment. And in fact, there's a bunch of positive comments where people are happy for us that we're at the point where we're getting sponsorships, which I think is really, really cool just to have everyone be so supportive with that kind of stuff. Because like I said, it wasn't like that before. And we didn't have to experience that before because obviously we weren't getting sponsored videos way back then. But um, yeah, I just thought it's really, really interesting and, and really cool that everyone's just being so nice about it, which is awesome. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention is that um, we get offered sponsorships all the time. 
every single week we have emails from different places that want to sponsor videos and send us stuff. And most of the time I turn them down or I don't reply to the emails at all. Cause some of them you can tell they emailed it to like a hundred different email addresses and we just happen to be one of them. But a lot of times I, I don't do them because the products that they offer are not really related in any way to what we do. They're not gaming related. They're not like, you know, electronic gadget related or whatever. So it's, it's hard to justify doing a sponsorship for something that doesn't relate to our channel. And so, like I said, most of the time I just ignore them or turn them down. So, uh, people seem to be very happy for us and they're like, Oh, you're getting sponsorships now. That's so cool. Yes, it is. But we turn down way more than we get. And that's not, I'm not like trying to brag or anything like that. I'm just letting you guys know that if we are doing a sponsorship, it is something that I think you can truly use. I think it's something that you, that you guys would actually be interested in, that I would actually be interested in. Um, you know, we have, we have places that contact us that are, you know, they sell like Tupperware and just like random stuff. And it's like, even if that is something we could personally use, I don't feel like it's appropriate to to have them as a sponsor on a video. So I just want you guys to, to know that if we are doing a sponsored video or something like that, it is something that I truly do think that you guys would be interested in checking out. So we're not just going to randomly shill some terrible product that has nothing to do with video games or anything like that. So. We're not gonna be getting a ton of sponsored videos, most likely, but if we do, they're hopefully just going to remain in that same kind of lane. Um, you know, gaming related, electronic related, something like that. So yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say about it. Just wanted to kind of talk about it a little bit because I thought it was kind of interesting. I just want to let you guys know kind of like what my thoughts are on it. All right, guys, just got home and Abby's tattoo is in a spot that we can't really film without like almost showing her butt cheeks. You'll see my butt cheeks. So we took a picture instead. So here it is. And here is the Hawaiian food that everyone wanted to see last time. Yeah, this, last time you're like, nobody wants to see the Hawaiian food. <laughs> this one's mine. So there's rice underneath here. And then we have chicken and teriyaki beef. And we have some macaroni salad. And then Abby got some ribs. Holy, holy chicken. These are the ribs. They are so good. And then we should also mention that Abby's tattoo is not done yet. She just got the outline on everything. It's mostly done. But it's not all shaded. Yeah, so I'm getting another tattoo done by her on the front of my thigh and she wants the shading to look very, very similar. So she wants to complete the shading all together because she wants my entire leg to flu. Good. So, Abby and I are gonna watch some TV, have our dinner, hang out. And I think that's pretty much it for today's vlog, guys. I'm going to watch The Village tomorrow. Or... Abby's going to play Village tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you again tomorrow.